Hi and welcome back to Toy Hobby Review on YouTube. Today we have the Air Hogs RC Hyperactive High Performance Stunt Vehicle from the the Adrenaline series and it claims to have a 500 mile per hour scale speed and up to 20 mile per hour real speed and requires six AA batteries. It charges off of the controller which is a gun I call it a gun controller and uh, when you push up like that it goes in reverse pull back it, it goes forward then you got your steering left and right and like I said it, it charges off of the controller and has a button that slides from charge off and on and uh, the car has a roll bar on it so that uh, if it it'll auto tip back over when you uh, flip upside down and um, charges on top as you can see the the charging guard is removed I put it back on there though and uh, it comes with four spare tires um, and there are four styles available and also it operates off of the 2.4 gigahertz frequency so it has minimum interference um, and it claims like I said it claims to do 20 miles per hour it's kind of hard to believe but uh, I guess we'll have to test it and see I don't have a radar gun or anything but we can see if it's uh, at an estimated 20 miles per hour so how about we take a look at that footage
there you have it folks um i had a, get a lot of luck with it the transmitter uh worked fine i didn't have any cutouts um it it ran for a full five minutes at full speed then all of a sudden it stopped when it ran out of battery power so it doesn't really get slow when you start running out of battery power it actually just burns it all up and then stops completely it does have a slow and a fast speed selection so that uh, you can drive it indoors without ramming into walls so much um, I enjoyed it for an RC car it was well worth the $13 that I paid and yes that's all I paid at Kmart because it had it double discounted and uh, the roll bar works good I could it, it's very hard to get it st stuck where it won't roll back over and uh, I like the controller I kind of wish it was a, a conventional controller and one the race car or RC car controller because I'm not that good at them, but somebody else might be. And it does work well. It's still controllable. And uh, yeah, it charges in about 40 minutes um, time. And uh, you get about five to six minutes of straight um, balling out, as I call it. And uh, yeah, I recommend it. And if you can find it for under $30, then it's worth it. Um, I would not pay $50 for it, and I, was, I lucked out and only paid $12, so uh, I give it two thumbs up. Um, please subscribe, leave a comment, and take care.